for probably a year and a half, I've been researching um, cell phone boosters. And uh, I real quickly discovered that Wilson Electronics, which uh, has since changed their name to WeBoost, is by far the, uh, the, the, the high quality of both commercial and residential cell phone boosters, uh, highest quality in the industry. So after determining that WeBoost was the company I wanted to go with, I figured out that the Connect 4 GX would not only work well with Sprint, but it actually boosts all of the other uh, signals that it can get. It, it'll work with any, any uh, network. Um, so I got my hands on a uh, Connect 4 GX, and I'll tell you right now, this is not cheap, but I have to have cell, ser uh, cell service up at the property. Um, for my business, for safety reasons, uh, for a lot of reasons, I want my kids to, uh, when they're traveling in and out of the, of the ranch, I want them to be able to get uh, service as long as they can. So I started thinking, now this is designed for a 110-volt uh, a uh, normal application in a house. Now this is what comes with the, the uh, Connect 4G X kit. You get the external antenna. This is the antenna that goes outside. This is the internal antenna. Now these two need to be at least, um, I think it's 20 feet apart. And this is the actual booster here. And it comes with uh, 75 feet, two bundles of 75 feet of very high quality cable. So what I did was I, uh, I purchased a 20 watt um, solar panel on eBay with a charge controller for about $54 and I'll put the uh, the link in the description to this particular um, brand nothing special about 54 bucks uh, when the system's working the lights on and the idea is that it's going to send power to the um, or, or away from the battery once the battery's completely charged uh, even though the panel sitting in the in the shade um, it's still working right now. Um, the uh, I, I tried. The, I, my idea was that I was going to use some of the old wood, some of the old barn wood that I have laying around, and make a birdhouse. And I'm going to put this uh, external antenna way up high in the tree of that Douglas fir that I have at the bottom corner of my property. That's about 50 feet tall, and then um, build a birdhouse that looks like a birdhouse to hide the components in. The problem is the battery, the ATV battery I had, is not enough. Um, I ended up having to use one of my old truck batteries that I had. Um, but the uh, process is, was pretty simple. Um, I went and found a uh, satellite dish, partly because they're everywhere. And I uh, dismantled it, welded a couple of bars on it, and, um, and mounted the solar panel. Um, the charge controller had wires, the wires coming out of it, that initially had these clips on it. I cut the clips off of it and put the just the uh, electrical connectors, the O-ring, the solid connectors. And then I went from the battery to the inverter the same way. So I clipped the, uh, the cigarette adapter and I, I went ahead and put a fuse. Uh, on the um, the inverter, if this works out the way I hope it does, I'll I'll hard solder that and shrink wrap that, making sure that's okay. But I'm kind of still in the experimental phase here. Okay, you can see I'm still at two at two bars. Now I've got this thing hokey rigged up here, just just trying to see. I've got the two trash cans sitting over here. I, I don't have the solar panel hooked up to it right now because the battery's charged enough. Uh, I'll flip the inverter on. And I have the antenna ran over here onto the, uh, don't forget about that bench, can be yours for the right price. Um, I mounted it on the front of the house, again pointing in the general direction of where the tower's at. So let's flip this on and see if the signal gets stronger. Okay, there goes the inverter. There we go. So this is just sitting here. This is designed to be in an attic uh, or someplace inside. And this is, again, just kind of a, a hokey rig install, but it just confirms we're at four. 
And this again will help other networks if I happen to have company or somebody up there that's using Verizon or somebody else. So now the trick is to build a, a birdhouse that's going to disguise that battery and the rest of this and also keep it out of the weather.
says I have two bars that I just tried to call out and I can't get out. Um, I'm gonna climb that tree there now and see if I can get that antenna up there as high as I can. I managed to get the antenna probably a good 40 feet up there. Uh, solar panel is doing its job. You can see it's charging the battery. Um, I have a shorter coupling coming to eliminate all this cable, but for the meantime, uh, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna flip it on and see if my phone uh, powers up. So this is the finished product. See the cable going up into the tree to the antenna. And I've got a toggle switch. I can turn on and off as I need to. I can hear it running. No need to have it running all the time until we're living up here. I'll do a couple things to where I can seal it up a little better to make sure that that booster never gets wet. Got the antenna, I'm sorry, I've got the solar panel pointing south, a little bit west. Um, and you can see on the side of the birdhouse, I've got toggles where I can open that thing up and get to it as I need to. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Again, I made a phone call crystal clear down to my wife, which is pretty important.